Hello friends and welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. It is 521. I'm just getting home. Um, I got my nails done. Let me show you. So we did little Christmas ornaments on my nails. Um, really happy with them. We ended up doing little Christmas ornaments and I really like them. And I'm home and the house is discombobulated. So you guys this might not feel discombobulated, but to me, we have magazines, we have boxes, we have socks and shoes that Mabel has drug all around. The couch is all discombobulated. Just everything is a little bit everywhere. It looks like you had fun today. It looks like you had fun today. She is so naughty, but we love her. You's a naughty girl. And I know Steven came home during lunch, and the fact that the vacuum out means that she got into something. And I guarantee you, it was a Christmas ornament of some kind. Let's do our advent calendars. Day 20, we got an Esker Firming oil. Pour some sugar on me. Day 20. I cannot believe it is day 20 already. We got gummy bears. Super awesome. Diptyque. Day 20. Day 20. Mimosa. This is a very good one. Mm. Saks Fifth Avenue, day 20. Oh, we got Olaplex number three, which is a strengthening hair treatment. Day 20 of our Mary Mary. Aww. We got a little... Maybe it's the caboose? I don't know. We can always put them in order afterwards. Once again, do not come to the Christopher Amtrak station because I cannot promise you will get to your destination. All right, let's grab Dolly. And also, I heard you loud and clear. I do know that Harper Valley PTA is not written by Dolly Parton. However, she did record it for an album in 1968 or 1969, and that is my only reference because it is the one that my grandmother played for me. It is still a Dolly Parton song. She just did not write it. You can calm down in the comment section. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I love you all. Um, all right, we did 19. We need day 20, which is right here. We got some peppermints. Not a single empty box this year. I'm proud of her. Oh, wait! We didn't do a Dolly song. She's been there. God knows she's been there. She has seen and done it all. She's a woman. She knows how to dish it out or take it all. Her heart's as soft as feathers, still she weathers stormy skies. And she's a sparrow in, she's broken, but she's an eagle when she flies. That is Eagle When She Flies off of her album, Slow Dancing With The Moon. And that is definitely a song that reminds my mom and myself of my grandmother. And it's also one of the first Dolly cassettes that I remember um, buying like on the release day. Um, 
yeah, and I remember just like learning every song and singing at the top of my lungs. All right, those are our advent calendars for today. They were great. I'm excited about the Olaplex and the serum, all the things. I just got the dogs fed and Steven and I were actually talking last night and we realized Bubba's goes by his middle name. His name is actually Toby Bubba's. So Toby is his first name on all his paperwork, but his middle name is Bubba's. And we have realized that Mabel doesn't have a middle name yet. So what we want you guys to do is in the comment section, give us some middle names that would go well with Mabel. We want something classic, a little bit older and mature, but what should Mabel's name be? We will narrow the comment section down to two and then we will have an Instagram vote on the two that we have. And that is how Miss Mabel is going to get her middle name. I also came home to a gift at my door and it was actually from Abby from Breathe at Home. So she gave me this beautiful, beautiful crystal. And this is what she said. Christopher, it's taken me this many days to be able to gather my thoughts and properly articulate my gratitude for the collab we did together. I am still blown away by the response and support from your followers. You should be so proud of the community you have created. Your followers are gracious, kind, and most of all, just love and trust you. I feel so special to have had a small taste of their kindness and for them to have welcomed me the way they did. Many years ago, my dad, sister, and I started a crystal collection for my mom. She's the hardest person to shop for, but crystals became one of her prized possessions because with every crystal comes the meaning and energy behind it. We now source crystals from all over the world to help others have collections of their own. For you, I chose citrine. This stone is all about positivity and optimism. It helps to manifest, I think that has to be my word for the year, opportunities and abundance, builds confidence and attracts good luck. There's nothing that I would wish more for you moving into 2023. Thank you again and Merry Christmas, Abby. So this is the citrine crystal that she gave me and it is truly just beautiful. But the fact that it aligns with so much that I've talked about this vlogmas is just like a full circle moment and it has arrived on day 20. Hello friends, it is about 30 minutes since I last talked to you um, and I have some bad news. Steven is not feeling well, so I'm gonna have to cut the vlog short to take care of him and make sure that he is well taken care of. That is most important to me. Don't worry, I only have two more days of work and I have decided, I can announce it here, I have decided that I'm going to do Vlogmas until the end of December. And that is because of how good I feel about it this year. But like I always tell you, family will always come first and taking care of him is the most important thing right now. So I'm going to end Vlogmas here and take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow, day 21. Don't forget, help us pick a name for Mabel. See you tomorrow, friends. Bye-bye.